It is a case that has gone unsolved in Springfield for 19 years this summer and tonight. The father of 15 year old Tammy Lins asks 22 News for help. He spoke exclusively with 22 News I team reporter Laura Hutchinson, and tonight she tells his story. Tammy Marie Lynn's remains were found in 1994, and according to her father, she never got the media attention other similar cases got, and her killer was never found. Now the district attorney is giving the case a second look and will tell her story with hopes someone knows something. On today at 12 a.m., I did something I would have not done without a dare. It's the last diary entry 15 year old Tammy Lynn's would ever write, and one her father would read over and over again. Then he dared me to come over his house that night, which means I had to sneak out of the house and go over his house and sneak in his room. I said, okay. Richard Lynn's is haunted by the words written 19 years ago, wondering if his daughter's killer will ever be found. Nobody's talking. Do you believe that somebody knows something? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now he's telling his story to 22 News, hoping to solve his daughter's case that's been cold for decades. Tammy Marie Lynn's disappeared in July of 1994 after sneaking out of her Springfield home. She told her younger sister Allison about her plans, but asked it be kept secret, something Allison still struggles with today. Back then, should I've, I've gotten my parents the whole peaky swear between my sister and I. I didn't want to break that and get her into trouble. Somewhere over in this area here is where she was found. Her remains were found four months later in a wooded area not far from her house. The family laid Tammy to rest, but their fight for answers was only just starting. It's been a year and a half, okay, and there's nothing being done, it seems like, by the police. The last two decades, Linz has been investigating for himself. This is, you know, one of the two directions that she could have gone. Now the case is getting a second look from Hamden County District Attorney Mark Mastriani, who has a team of investigators who are retesting evidence using modern day technology. The examination of this is intense. The scrutiny to the case now and the evidence is intense. And that's what the unsolved unit that I have now is designed to do. Lynn says for some time he was considered a suspect, although he denies having anything to do with the disappearance and insists detectives keep trying. We need people to start talking. There's been no talking. While it won't bring back his 15-year-old daughter, it will bring him and his family some peace and closure. A lot of memories. You know, it was 15 years uh, with her. My sister was my best friend, and to not have her, it's like you, you get a piece of you that's gone, and you can't get it back. You can see it's been an unsolved case for a long time, and the family wants closure. If you know anything about it, the DA's office is asking you to get in touch with them. Their contact information is on our website, wwlp.com. I'm Laura Hutchinson, working for you with the 22 News I team.